guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I got a very special package in that I'm so excited about. I got the brand new Laura Lee Nudie Patootie Palette. And how cute is this? She definitely upped her packaging game. And these shades are incredible. And it's got a huge mirror which is always a plus but these shades are so good. So we're going to stick some swatches right here. And uh, as far as this palette goes, it's swatched out so good. Already did my makeup, absolutely loved it. Blended well, good pigment. Overall, just so solid. She definitely was just as on par as she was with Cat's Pajamas, if not more. And she took almost all of our criticism, which I didn't have any, I loved Cat's Pajamas, but she took everybody's negative feedback and did her best to turn it into something so positive. So you've got 14 shades. It is perfect for all skin tones. Now I'm super fair and this worked out perfect for me. She had a transition shade light enough for me and I used everything up to the darkest shade in this palette. Still looked wonderful. So uh, yeah, and this is perfect for people with deeper skin tones too. If you check out her Instagram, Laura Lee Los Angeles, you will see like people from the fairest to the deepest skin tones all using this palette and it looks amazing on everybody. But yeah, um, I'm so excited to have this. I'm wearing her merch in honor of this video because I'm just so excited. I love seeing YouTubers do great things because that's exactly where I want to be in a couple of years or a couple of months, you know. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to go ahead. We have a quick tutorial and a little bit of my opinions at the end and then we will be done. So here we go with your tutorial, guys. Okay, guys, so I am beyond excited to dip into this palette. I'm going to do a lot of tutorials on this just like I did with Cat's Pajamas. So don't think this is all you're going to get because you'll know I love me some Laura. You know. And uh, <laughs> we are going to get plenty of tutorials. But today I'm just going to do a good little cut crease and see what I come up with. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go in here. And I'm going to take Undressed right here and use this for my transition shade on an E27 and just fluff that all over the crease and a little bit onto the lid as well. And since I'm so pale, that's why I'm using the lighter of the transition shades just because the darker ones are going to show up way darker on me and be more of a regular crease shade as opposed to transition. Damn it, Roger. Okay, so we are going to zoom in and really get down to business with this palette. So the second color, I'm going to go ahead and switch to this little doe color brush that I really like. And the second color we're going to go into is um, reveal right here. And we are going to build that up in the crease and try to get a little more depth. Okay, so next I'm going to go into butt naked right here and take that a little lower and heavy in the crease because I really want to build up a whole lot of dimension in this look. So now I'm going to go into Nike Nike and that is going to go in the very outer corner of the crease that's going to be like, it's not black but it's pretty close so that's going to be my deepest point. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a cut crease, and y'all know I'm challenged, so we're just going to cut out while I actually cut the crease, so I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I have my crease is cut. I'm gonna do a half cut crease, and I have been absolutely dying to get into these foil shades. So we are gonna go into Jaybird right here, and we are gonna put that in the center of the cut crease, but not all the way over. So just right through here. Oh, that pigment. Okay, so next, because I want to kind of ombre this, I'm going to go into Uncover. That's right here. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner section of my cut crease. Okay, so next, I'm going to take but naked real close up on the lower lash line and then blend it out with a little bit of bare with a fluffy brush okay so next step for these eyes is i'm going to go into stark this is a shimmery white and i'm just going to take it and pop it right here and that pigment is absolutely gorgeous i'm going to pop that there for that inner corner highlight and take a tiny bit on the brow bone right through here but not too much okay so <clears throat> i'm going to leave y'all while i go ahead and finish up all this stuff and I will be right back okay guys so I am back with the finished look um, definitely had some difficulties with my lashes but then I got nothing to do with the eyeshadow palette which was gorgeous so we are just gonna zoom in so you can get a quick look here is how the eyes turned out ignore my wonky lashes they wouldn't agree But yeah, so that is the look that we ended up with. I definitely like this palette, which I already knew I would because Cat's Pajamas was literally perfect. Like I adored that palette and I used it all the time. And I'm a huge fan of Laura, of course. Check it. But even if I wasn't, that formula was really good. There was no way to deny that. And this formula is definitely on par. Like this glitter is a foiled shadow and that is a dry. That's no fix plus. That's no glitter glue, no nothing. And it still came out this pigmented and that is insane. So yeah, that is today's video. That is the Nudie Patootie palette. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.